I done gave you the land. He sent it to Israel when they marched into the land of Canaan. He said, I done gave it to you. It was yours before it was a thought in your great, great, granddaddy's mind. Before, hey, come on somebody. Abraham even had Isaac, had Jacob, had it. Come on, and it went down the line. I done said it, and I'm going to bring it to pass. All I need you to do is just show up and obey what I told you to do. And the rest will be history. Folks, we have a done deal. God says, I don't need nobody to help me. I don't need nobody's idea. I don't need nobody's motive. I don't need nobody's agenda. I just need somebody to show up and be my mouthpiece. Be my feet. Be my hands. I need you to die on that altar until I can fill you with the Holy Ghost and get you up and start walking through you, talking through you. I don't need nothing from you. I just need you to show up. Lift your hands all over this house and shout, it's a done deal. Hallelujah. I just need you to show up. All I need, Travis, is for you to open your mouth. If you will submit to me, if you will yield to me, if you will become obedient to me, do you know why you have to learn obedience to your parents? It's not because daddy says, go get me the rake, that you got to go get me the rake. It's not because mama says, go get me my cup of coffee, that you got to go get a cup of coffee. Every bit of that is to train you and teach you that the voice talking to you, it, it's got to Somebody has authority and you got to yield to it. Why? Because he's getting you ready for the day that he can say, Travis, take a step and you take one. Travis, go in that gas station and you go into it. Travis, go say this to that man because God is saying, if I can find me somebody that will yield themselves to me, hang on me like a jacket on a hanger and release yourself. Oh, hold on. He said, all I need you to do is to show up. Brother Clinton said, I didn't understand when I went to go to war. He said, I could shoot a 50 cent piece from 200 yards right in the middle of the 50 cent. 
He said, I could hit a 50 cent piece 200 yards away with a rifle. He said, and hit it right in the middle. He said, I thought to myself, I'm ready for the Marines. He said, put me in the war. He said, I'm ready to go to war. He said, them, he said that ain't what they did. He said, they put me in a fence and for eight weeks taught me to fall in, fall out, jump up, get up, make your bed. He said, I thought to myself, this is stupid. He said, why in the world? He said, would, would, would you put me eight weeks when they need help on that battlefield? I need to be out there. Give me a gun. I can shoot. He said, I can kill and be a sniper. I'm ready to take care of it. He said, I'm telling you, they put me in that fence when they needed me in that war because he said, I don't understand this. He said, they need me out there, not here. He said, but what I didn't know, he says, was they had to discipline me. Discipline is instant obedience. It's not hesitated obedience. It's instant obedience. It's not, I don't know, let me make up my mind obedience. It's, yes, sir. Hallelujah. There's some of you, but that's why the stuff going on in your life is such an issue. Because there's hesitation in you. There's hesitation in your obedience. There's hesitation in your yieldedness. And that can happen in the battlefield, in the warfare. And some of you have been wrestling for months and years in the same stuff because you can't turn things loose. And he said, I can't put you in the war. He said, discipline is instant obedience. He said, they taught me up. He said, I knew before they ever got to the poop what to do. He said, all they had to do was up. He said, and I was ready to put, I was done up before the peak could get there. Up. He said, I was done up. He said, when they said down, he said, before the end could get the down, none. He said, I was on the ground because he got instant obedience. And his message is so just down to him. Yeah. He's all on the ground. Some of you down. say, what? What do you want, sir? What do you want, Lord? Okay, give me just a second. No, down. Amen. Amen. Down. Yeah. Come on, man. He said to the soldier who did not learn that, he's dead today. When we stormed the beaches of Normandy, he said, when that sergeant and commander that I was in charge, they were in charge of me, hollered down, I hit the dirt before end could ever come out of my mouth. He said, it saved my life because a delayed reaction would have killed me. He said, bullets were flying. I had to get down. I had to get down. I had to get down. Get up. Fall in. You are hesitating on this stuff. And if I can't do this in you and I can't get this out of you, then how can I ever put you out there? But if I can ever get this out of you and teach you instant obedience, then I can put you out in the middle of the world and launch you into the lives of people. And then I can say, she's going through suicidal thoughts. She's doing this. She's doing that. And you will be moved by the Spirit. Somebody ought to throw your hands up right now and say the whole thing was never about the music I listened to. It was simply the fact he just wants me to get instantaneous, obedient to his call, to his voice, to his spirit, to his anointing. He wants me to live for something besides myself. He wants me to, he wants me to eat and breathe and sleep and drive people. Hallelujah. He that's what he wants. That's why he saved you. That's why he sanctified you. That's why he filled you with the Holy Ghost. He says, I want your body. I don't need your mind. I just want your body. I don't need your thoughts. I just need your body. I don't need your agenda. I just need your body. I don't need anything you got to bring to the table. I just need your body. You keep trying to help me out. I don't need help out. I, I am Jesus. I just need your lips, your tongue, your breath, your heartbeat. I just need a body. I had a body, come on somebody, for 33 and a half years. And I purchased your body. And now you keeping from me 
I don't need you. I just need your body. I just need your body. You don't spend eternity with me. I just need your body. I'll exhaust you, body. And when I'm done exhausting your body, they'll lay it in a casket. They'll will it to the front of the church. They'll sing songs over it. But it's going back to the dirt and the ground from which it came. You're coming with me. I'm not even going to attend your funeral. Because this ain't about you. This is about souls. That's to be saved. But Pastor, I can't teach. It's all right. He don't need a teacher. He just needs a body. You got a body? 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 Generals, what do you got to bring to God? Nothing. But you got a body? You got a body? You got hands? You got feet? You got lips? You got eyes? You got toes? You got a nose? You got an ear? You got a mind? You got all you need. It's simply the Holy Ghost filling that body and living Jesus out of that body. 